Bell rings, and in this case, it means Clash is in session with the self-proclaimed Master Gable. I don't think I like your tone, Cole. Few have the athletic and academic accomplishments that Chad Gable does. If looking for an early pin, kick out before a two. This match is not going to end so soon. Finds a counter for Gable. into the corner. Ow. Boom! Now a series of vicious outs in the turnbuckle. Ooh. Stumps. You want to control the tempo. You want to dictate the pace. That right there is how you do it. Here we go. The Exploder. Chad Gable playing to the crowd now. Axiom reverses. Oh, look at that. The moonsault. That maneuver goes to show. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Playing possum. I love it. And the shoulder's open tied. That's surprisingly close to a pinfall there. Whoa. The height on the moonsault. It's hard enough to do a moonsault from the ropes, but standing next to your opponent? Now that's something else. And that damage to the shoulder could be an ongoing factor now. It might limit range of motion in the entire arm. Textbook fireman's carry takeover. It did not look like Axiom had a solution for that problem. No need to panic. He's still swinging. Corey, what's the biggest mistake a WWE superstar could make when in the ring with Chad Gable? The worst thing they could do is overlook Gable. Gable may not be as big as other superstars, but he can tie you up in knots and tap you out quickly. You need to treat Gable like the threat he is. To the outside. This could get wild. Wow, what a situation. Hanging our bar locked in. This is bad. This is really bad. Drop kick. Oh, what a kick. Oh, jeez, that could take you out. And into the count. Denying a two count there. Still in it. There he goes, right into the corner. And he's able to counter. Oh, man, he is more than fired up right now. Oh, oh, that's a down. It cinched. We're going to free the arm and does just that. Thrown back in under the ropes. Jumping knee strike on point. We're going to free the arm and does just that. As the leg trap, Fisherman suplex. Cover. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. Match slam with some attitude. Knees up. Got the knees up just in time. Chad Gable with a German suplex. Not done yet. Has not released. Still claps around the waist. A second German suplex. Nice. Will Gable make it pay off? And there's the cover. Try and end it. Somehow he kicked out. I do not know how you survived that. Staying alive there is unheard of. And we all know how Gable gets when things don't go his way. Hopefully he can focus on getting the job done instead of complaining about the referee's count. Good timing with that reversal. Ooh, great agility on display. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing and it could cost him. What could Chad be looking for? Oh, my God. Oh, diving moonsault from... It could be over here. This is it. Chad Gable did it. Huge win. 
here is your winner, Chad Gable! Axiom takes the loss. And Master Gable solidifying Alpha Academy's... Chad Gable with a German suplex not done yet, has not released. Arms still clamps around the waist. A second German suplex. And by Gable. Almost seemed like there would be no end in sight to those suplexes. So this is an over-the-top battle royal. The rules are simple. You start with superstars in the ring. You throw them under the ropes to get eliminated. Last one standing wins. One competitor forcing everyone else out. Sort of like what happens when Saxon walks into a room. Boom! Vicious right forward. He's turning the tables. Into the corner. This can't be good. Oh, what a knee strike. This part of town for these two competitors. This could go south in a hurry. Here we go. McDonough. Uh-oh. This is not going to be nice. This is going to be nasty. All oh, out wing. No matter what it takes. Head butt to the back of the neck. Russian leg sweep. Up and down. What a slam. Double underhook applied. Butterfly suplex. Oh, there's a response against Kaiser. Ripped over in a snap suplex. Had that one scouted. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. And that will bring some frustration to Cruz. Yeah, Otis showing plenty of ferocity there. Oh, 
Oh, big Otis. Oh, the dominance of Otis with that slam. Otis can be looking to end this. And the attack from Otis avoided. Has him up for the power slam. And still delivers the inverted DDT. Counter. And now there's an opening. He's struggling a bit here. And just like that, he said, crashing to the floor. Put in a position there. in big, big trouble. Whoa, leaping through the air. From the middle rope. Oh, misses the mark. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. So close Right to the kidneys from behind. Inverted DDT. Oh, he retaliates. Fought off with an elbow. Here we go, your favorite call. Blue Thunder Bomb. Boom. This certainly isn't going to help Sammy's paranoia if things stay this way. Rubber boot to the stump. Has been eliminated. This could be it. Fonz eye drop. Oh, Zayn anticipated that. Bam. And Sami Zayn got him and picks up the win. Here is your winner, Sami Zayn! Ended this match with a big win under... The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring. From Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, the Women's World Champion, La Llorona. This right here is a no-nonsense superstar. More like a no-respect superstar. They should thank the higher-ups once in a while. Don't you call yourself the savior of misbehavior? This isn't about me. That's neither here nor there, Cole. Taito is not on the line, but she knows a loss tonight will mean a future defense. She will be on her A game tonight. And time to put your hair up and square up. Well, you don't have any hair, but you get the point. And from Shimon, New Jersey, Sonia Deville. 
Throughout her career, Sonya has shown her adaptability as a tag team competitor, a single star, and even a backstage official. You absolutely cannot trust Sonya, but you can depend on the fact that she will do anything to reach the top of WWE. She's a powerful striker with a very extensive mixed martial arts background. Yeah, Sonya Deville never pulls her punches, but does like to pull strings behind the scenes. Now, been a recipe for success for her at times, though. You know you're in a dangerous situation when you're squaring up with Sonya Deville. We've seen how power-hungry Sonya is, whether it's in the ring or in the office. Ruthless and relentless, Deville is dead set on chopping down any obstacle that stands in her way when she picks a target. And right now, Deville looks totally focused on coming out the victor here tonight. And then we've got the superstar who came into this match wearing championship hardware, looking dead set on... And here we go! Single leg crab! Out right, Prisa! Pressure's on, gotta get out quick! Oh, what a great counter! God, oh, takedown, and now punches rights! Brutality! Practically never-ending blows, coming at full force here. A ripping and tearing at the face. There was no issue with that attack. Hey, sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. Who are we to judge? So, Corey, what can Sonya Deville do to ensure she comes out on top in this matchup? Sonya needs to utilize her MMA background, Cole. Her thunderous strikes and her impressive wrestling ability could make a world of difference. Sonya needs to square up and put everything she's learned as a fighter to good use. Oh, I need a job. And that'll leave a mark on Sonya Deville. Sit time! Uh-oh, second rope. Are you kidding me? Wow! Guys, that might have been the best moonsault ever. Two! Very close. Fatigue clearly set again. Letting her opponent know she is ready for anything. So do that taking the the champion's title well possession's nine tenths of the law yeah they're not going to get very far oh no you can never take your eye off your opponent proved to be an effective distraction you, you can't blame the superstar for trying to protect their title punishing stretch that attack was definitely pre-calculated hoping to greatly diminish the power in that arm She sent back in under the ropes. They are in position. Their opponent has no idea what's coming. Now to the back of the neck. And to the line for Sonya. Pin. It's over. All in a night's nice work. Here is your winner, La Yu. Oh, yeah, they kept their focus and eked out the victory. It was definitely the result of keeping their head in the game in this one. See, the distraction ready to strike. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri. Weighing in at 275 pounds. The Viper, Randy Orton! A story career with plenty of historic wins. Yeah, Randy has every right to rest on his accomplishments, but he hasn't. Kept evolving his game, continuing to grow as a competitor. That's exactly, Michael, why Randy Orton is so dangerous. In fact, you could say that Randy Orton is better now than ever before.
One of the most methodical superstars in WWE. Every step he takes serves a purpose. Yeah, Randy Orton is always thinking inside that ring and provides no reprieve from the gruesome attacks that he creates. Always a threat with the three most dangerous letters in all of sports entertainment, R-K-O. One of the most controversial, ruthless superstars in recent WWE history. And his opponent representing DIY from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Weighing in at 201 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion. No matter what you think about him, you can't deny Champa's as tough as they come. Yeah, we've seen Champa recover from not one, but two career-threatening injuries. Not only that, but he recovered ahead of schedule and came back in the best shape of his life. The worst place to be is across the ring from a motivated Tommaso Champa. Somehow, some way, this superstar needs to figure out how to keep the Viper out of his own psyche. I'm not sure that's possible. You might be right on that account, Saxton. Tommaso Ciampa, a cutthroat competitor no matter the situation. He's tired of waiting his turn, being patient, says that's gotten him nowhere. As intense out of the ring as he is inside of it, Ciampa is not someone to take lightly. Being proactive is just in his nature. Yeah, Byron, and Ciampa is here to take what he believes is rightfully his. Everything. And across the ring is Randy Orton one of WWE's preeminent locker room leaders. And the thing is, a lot of people would be shocked to hear that. But it has become the truth in recent years. I can't think of a better mentor for an up-and-coming superstar than Orton. Randy's been a controversial figure in the past, but he's put those days behind him and is still one of the most decorated superstars in WWE history. We know Randy likes to end matches out of nowhere, but you have to think it's not as simple as that. Absolutely not. It takes a lot of work to get to out of nowhere. If I'm Randy, I'm wearing my opponent down, getting him ready for those three dangerous letters. Oh, what a German suplex. Off into the pen. So resilient. Comes down across the head with the axe handle. Pulled in for a belly to belly. Into the pit attempt. Power right out in one. Showing his determination there with that kick out. Drop kick. Great athleticism. And the Blackheart got tested there. Yeah, as Orton was putting his precision to work there. Gets him with the counter. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. I think the fuse has been lit here, guys. Yeah, Saxton, now we'll see if this is dynamite or a dud. Seems like natural instinct alone. Orton looking as impressive as ever. Steered clear of that. Blink and you miss it. Power slam by Orton. Goes into the pin. Two. No, he pops the shoulder before three. The end was in sight. And he sends him into the corner, gets him in position. This is not what more can this superstar do. Reaching deep into the arsenal. This could end the entire match from the top floor. And Orton gets countered there. Counters on counters, technical prowess on display. Oh, 
the spot. Cover, cover. Raising the arm before one. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. Vicious right forearm. Punching their way out of that one. Champa is in some serious trouble. Orton just wearing him down now. He can end it here. And there's a quick kick out from Tommaso Ciampa. I can't believe the ref didn't get two here. Impact to the back. Ooh, Big boot. Yeah. Ooh. Ah, knee left. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Stop in the leg. Oh, and a reversal. And just that quick, the Viper can turn the tides of this matchup. Slam by Orton. He's certainly lining him up, but he's wasting too much time. Arm ringer applied into the top wrist lock. Full control now. Ooh, and a shot to the body and another. Oh, look at the knees. Just endless knee strikes. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. I don't know how these men keep going. They gotta be close to running on empty by now. <laughs> ah, the reversal by Orton. Orton launches his opponent with an exploder. The Viper taking a moment to soak it all in now. Left by the turnbuckles. Not where you want to be right now. Oh, flipping the script on him there. Champa looking to end. Hoist it up. Double underhook. Weaves out. And a clothesline counter. Look at this. Just unloading. Oh, and a oof. stop to the gut, too. Pulls their opponent in. Belly to belly. For the win. There's two. Uh, uh, guys. What? What? Oh, my goodness. And going for a ride with a massive choke slam. What an impact made. Big Bronson Reed really is a force of nature, isn't he? Just a colossal superstar with a high-impact, high-intensity offense to match. You got that right about his offense, Cole. The tsunami says it all. Tangling with this mammoth of a man is no easy task. Absolutely, Corey. This matchup should be quite the collision. And he's got to deal with the perennial underdog, Rey Mysterio. There are a few superstars who've had an impact on our industry like Mysterio that has to weigh in on the mind of anyone stepping into the ring with him. Counters! Oh. A jumpy DDT! My. Ooh. From the tops! Ducking out of trouble. Unloads with the boot. Vicious right forearm. What type of game plan can we expect to see from Rey Mysterio here tonight, Corey? I don't know if Mysterio ever sticks to one plan. He seems to approach every opponent with a different viewpoint, which is what has made him so successful. That level of research and preparation for an opponent is something that sets Rey apart from the rest of the pack. That knee must be the most vulnerable target capable of tilting any size difference. And got the upper hand against the veteran Mysterio there. Reed's Australian strong style certainly looked effective there. And shoulders are down. Still has enough energy for the simple kick out. Leaping into the wheelbarrow, up and around with a DDT. Escapes in a nick of time. <laughs> Counters with an attack on Reed. 
stomping. Ouch. Strong form. Beautiful drop kick. Debilitating attack on the leg. So much torque on the knee and ankle. Such heart being shown by Mysterio. Yeah, it's obvious that Mysterio did his research and preparation on his opponent, and it's paying off. You know, I've noticed some friction lately between these superstars. Well, you can't be friends with everybody. I've noticed the same. There's definitely something of a rivalry here. And Reed fends that off. Not a forearm! Ray's veteran instincts on display. Ouch! Hooked up. DDT! Climbing up to the top now. Launching. This is troublesome for Reed. Two. Oh, he kicked out. I don't know how he did it, but he's hanging in there. Just how much pain is he willing to endure in this match? And Mysterio clearly frustrated over that kick out, asking himself, what do I have to do next? Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Great counter. Opportunity now for him to capture some momentum. Yeah, Reed able to stop that surge dead in its tracks. Carefully measuring. Oh, look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. It's that time. The pin drop! Big Bronson Reed up high. I can't believe what we just saw. I can't tell if it's anger in the eyes of the fact that he hasn't finished this or if it's disbelief that his opponent is still in this. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Outrageous athleticism on the Hurricane. Double stop. And Rey Mysterio connected nicely right there. He's lining him up. Precision. He's really slowly getting up. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing, and it could cost him. It's not every day you witness a battle like this one unfold. Yeah, the WWE Universe clearly realizing just how lucky they are to be watching this match live. Able to interrupt the attack. Hooked him up. their opponent and tossing them aside. <laughs> uh oh Look at this. He just tossed the leg. Elbow drop on target. Mysterio is locked in on his opponent now. <laughs> Bang! Drop kick. Don't do it. Slide. Flash. A roll of the dice and it pays off in full. Whoa. Catching Reed off guard. A oh, running dragon runner. Spectacular. Sharp reversal stopping Mysterio. Bad predicament right here. Oh my gosh. And Mysterio didn't look so good there. A very determined Bronson right now, shifting into a new gear. A deafening cheer from the WWE Universe is reverberating around us. Absolutely unreal. Heading up, he's thinking big. From the top, elbow drop. Looking to end it here. This could be it. Quick shoulder up. This is insanity. Did you expect anything less? <laughs> right on the patella. And look at this now, yes, applying the submission hold. After everything these two men have been through, will it end like this? Will it end with a submission tap out? His body might give out at this point. Achilles lock. It wasn't fancy, but they're free.
Uh-oh. This isn't going to be pretty. Suplex! Working over the body there. He's going to the pin. This could be it. And to the pay window. There's a shoulder up almost immediately. What a... Hoisted high up. Sit down, Axe Driver! Mysterio felt that, and I think he's down. What is it going to take to put him away? And I think to get the pinfall, you have to try that maneuver one more time. Listen to this place. It's unreal. The decibel level in here right now is breaking glass. These fans are on fire. Beautiful drop kick. Draped over the middle rope. Ray toying with his opponent a little bit. Suicide oh, just completely off target there. Oh, that was nasty to watch. Finding nobody home. All the way down. Gentlemen, in the interest of self-preservation, I may have to excuse myself. Saxton, you hang tight. Let this play out. And his eyes are piercing through the opposition now. Up high. You want to talk about putting it all on the line. Always an extra risk when you dive ringside. <laughs> Trying to wrestle free their opponent's arm. Has the arm trapped. Goodness gracious. And he slides him back to the mat. Rey Mysterio fighting back. What's he planning to do here? Oh, a foot pile driver. Up to the top rope now. Set up for a second time. Right on point with the frog splash from Mysterio. Rey got it. Rey got it. Kick out. I thought it was finished off for sure. Within inches of victory, only to have it snatched away. This match just keeps getting more and more exciting. The biggest little man going to have to fight just a little bit more to get the win here. Oh, great counter. Perfect position. Here we go. 6-1-9. Rick. And right now with a sprumble. Fox Flash. Wow. Will Bronson get back up? And he retains the championship after a hard-fought battle. Look out from behind. Looks like there's another challenger on the horizon, but the champ letting him know, for now, I'm the one on top. Damian Priest set to compete here tonight. Just looking at the eyes of Priest. He came here tonight with serious business in mind. That's just Priest's way, Cole. He loves to party and raise a little hell, but when that bell rings, he is all business. And it's not the kind of business you want to be on the wrong end of. Hard-hitting, unrelenting, that describes Priest to a T. This should be quite the matchup. But I don't think anyone in the locker room is jealous of the task he has in hand, putting himself right in the path of the ring general. Yeah, I don't think anyone looks forward to being hit by a semi-truck. Nothing can prepare you for the pain Gunther delivers. Slips out of the way. Knife edge chop. Picking up speed off the rope. Oh, a hip drop to the gut. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. Spectacular counter into a dragon screw. He's one step ahead there. Let's lighten up the chest. Priest able to avert that. If you're in the ring with Damian Priest, here's a piece of advice. Don't try to take him head on. You have to chip away at him piece by piece. Going toe to toe with Priest would only play to his strengths. Wise words, Corey. Focus on a more agile approach might just get the job done. Too soon for a cover. Ooh, point of the elbow counters that. And what a burning lariat. Penny predicament. Only getting one out of that pin. Way too soon for him to be thinking about a pin. Swinging neckbreaker connects. Boom, 
running STO plants him. Nicely done. Oh, emphatic chop. Did you hear that impact? This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. Toss their opponent. Clearly an attack that very few super... Not allowing that to go on any longer. He just barely dodges. German suplex! Setting it up. Thunderous clothesline. That's Gunther reminding us all who calls the shots. Damn. Just mocking their opponent right now. Uh-oh. And Priest fends him off. Double underhook applied. Up and... The glam slam. Oof. Focusing their attack on the arm and bang! What a punch! Uh oh! Uh oh! He's looking a little off balance. Damien looking to push the advantage after that. to take a trip south of heaven choke slam crucial moment for the undertaker you can see the battle scars on their bodies and they are telling an epic tale these men are showing everyone the desire the strength and the will it takes to compete at this level Ooh, bullseye oh priest is picking the competition apart gotta expect priest calm control to continue i don't like the look in his eye here folks Taking flight. Body splash. Is it enough? The cover. Two count kicks out. He still has life. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down?